I mentioned that I'm willing to buy in to Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin on the rebound. But I think that if you want to buy low on Joe Gibbs Racing, Martin Truex Jr. is pretty easily the best way to do so. Now, the thing that's different with Truex from Bush and Hamlin is that he will start outside the top 12 because he is outside the top 12 in owner points. So Truex will start somewhere between 13th and 24th. So that's bad for him from a betting perspective, but it's good for DFS because you're going to get some place differential juice with Truex that safeguards you in case the JGR cars continue to struggle here in Darlington. But he was also, I think, the best uh, Joe Gibbs racing car early on. He just didn't get the finishes to show for it. His average running positions, the first three non-Daytona races, were 8th, 9th, and 11th. He just had really bad luck that forced him to finish poorly, which is why he's outside the top 12 in owner points. Truex is a good driver in Darlington. He won here in 2016. He led a bunch of laps in 2017. So if we're looking at this thing straight up and not accounting for starting position or salary, Truex actually ranks fourth in my model behind Harvick, Bush, and Logano. I think he is a high floor due to the place differential upside and a high ceiling way to buy into Joe Gibbs racing off their early struggles. So yeah, I don't mind Bush and Hamlin, but I think if I'm trying to buy low on JGR, Martin Truex Jr. is the best route at 11.5 on FanDuel. 